Hello and welcome to a new video. It's 1 a.m. at night and Niantic just pushed nearly everything into the game. Every charge move for generation 8 it feels like. Um, we're gonna take a look at all of them later on as well. Uh, I haven't looked at all of the things that Pokemon has said yet really right now. But we're gonna take a look first real quick at the Galissa pod which is gonna be available in two days. And the moves that this thing got and we're gonna go straight into this. Those moves, all you're going to see in this video, are not final. Those are found in the Game Master. I have to say that, of course, in the beginning, they can change. For some, I hope they change. For Galissapod, I hope they change as well. As Galissapod has access now to Waterfall, Fury Cutter, Metal Claw. Not the best, but Waterfall is cool. I expected this. Exorcer, really good. Aqua Jet, that's horrible. And Aerial Ace, it's also horrible. I'm pretty sure that Galissapod gonna get a C day someday or like a special move update someday because it has a signature move so I think it's gonna get this one. Um, so yeah, like I'm pretty pretty sure that this is gonna get a move update anyway. This is the current moves, moves that we're gonna see. You wanna see like all the moves afterwards. I still haven't looked at them yet so I can so you can see my first impression on them. We see here it still actually can do something just because of the pure waterfall damage you do with this thing, which I think is especially for Great League a really good um, thing for Ultra League. Ultra League, like the Pokemon are a little bit more bulky, so it's gonna be not as good. I'm also gonna showcase Galissapod on the channel a little bit later than I usually would do because it's actually available in raids, but I would have to do like VR battles and I don't really want to do this for this Pokemon. So I have to gonna do. Um, like normal like i go outside and at 10 a.m try to catch them and play it in the uh fossil cup which is also gonna come soon video for the fossil cup co coming on wednesday as well for me best teams there gonna uh, be exciting for this um subscribe if you haven't if you want to not miss this we see it in the ultra league very quick ultra league we see as well here we have 114 as the Ideal moveset uh, or like uh, IV spread. As we can see here, we can beat stuff like Talonflame, of course, with the water damage, Obstagoon, Charizard. I think this Pokemon might be really cool in the um, Premier Remix Cup or Premier Classic, Premier Classic Cup. I think that would be really cool for it. I don't know, like, we don't have this cup right now available anymore. Hopefully, it's coming back next time because it's the best cup in Pokemon Go PP right now, in my opinion. And we see it at Master League here, real quick. And we see we actually would beat a Groudon, which is cool, and like the ground types, but yeah, that's basically it. So uh, it's safe to say Galas Pod not gonna be the craziest Pokemon. It's still gonna be fun to use, still gonna be fun to play as well together with a Rackmanet, maybe. I have to see what kind of team I want to play with this, but I have something in mind already. And we can take a look now at what is um, added here into the Game Master. Of course, Game Master can all change. We see some random stuff. We see Shadow Catch Rate for Kangaskhan went up. So uh, maybe you get Shadow Kangaskhan, which would be really cool. Um, Arceus, I don't know what this is. Tornadoes form. Kyurem Black, Kyurem White form. They got like some updates further from the ground, whatever. Maybe we're gonna get like Kyurem Black and White. That would be really cool. A lot of new move details below. Okay, new moves coming into the game. Really cool. Um, remaining Ultra Beast got the class, Fermosa, Circuitry got moose. Da, 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 da. A number of moose, uh, Pokemon got moose. And um, note, Lycanroc does got Crush Claw, a fast move, but it's a charge move and also doesn't have PP stats. So Crush Claw is actually already in the game. But it doesn't have, it's, it's usually a charge move that it's supposed to get most likely, but it doesn't have stats yet. So it's going to be a new move as soon as this is going to come out. Um, but it's currently like not completely correct. I guess this is an error here, but we're going to have to see what's going to happen here. We're going to go through the moveset here. Pretty sure, no, actually no, like they have Rise Whip, they have Crunch, they uh, changed some stuff around here, which is cool. You have Vikable, Charger Buck, um, both of them are really cool Pokemon, like fan favorites or like in general Pokemon people look forward to. Charger Buck gonna be funny in the Great League meta actually, you, it has like 1900-ish IV spread that's like a little bit around the uh, bulkiness of Tapu Fini, so it's gonna be a little bit bulky, a bulky um, What's it called? A book here, electric type, which we don't really have. And with Spark, Exorcist, Discharge, Crunch. There's a pretty decent moveset. Also with Bug Bite. I think Bug Bite might be even better than Spark. I don't like Spark, to be honest. But this might be actually a fun Pokemon to use. Biker Volt, most likely not as much. It has also Spark, Bug Bite. Doesn't have like Volt Switch or something. Not too cool. 
Crab Brawler, Payback as a fast move. I don't think that's completely correct. This definitely gonna change as well. That's not correct. Otherwise, yeah, you have payback, payback. I hope this is gonna be counter and they just like misrouted. it. If this thing gets counter, counter power punch, grab hammer would be kind of insane with payback as well. Um, then that would be really cool Pokemon. But of course, the payback as a quick move gonna be weird. Fairy Wind Cutie Fly. Actual Fairy Wind coming into the game most likely soon ish. Like they wouldn't put it in here if they wouldn't add it soon ish. So I think they're gonna actually add a new. Fairy type quick move into the game, which is gonna be amazing. Like those stats of Q Fairy Bombi not gonna be the best for PvP most likely, but still a fairy wind might be really really cool. Crush Claw and right like in Rock Dusk, and again another move which most likely gonna be a charge move, but like without stats in there yet. Wishy Washy and Wishy Washy School Form. School form gonna be insanely crazy. Like it's not gonna be the best to be honest. But actually, this would be a Pokemon that you can use in Master League. Like defense and attack is like insane. HP doesn't change sadly, but I don't know how they want to actually do this. Water gun, waterfall, waterfall surf is cool, but and awkward tail as well. Um, but like you don't have coverage here, which gonna be a little bit of a problem. Marini, this is the Toxapex. This is like the most important Pokemon, most likely in terms of PvP stats in the um, region here. And we get most likely, like it's it can still change, of course. Poison Jab, Muddy Water, Ganger Shot, Sludge Wave. Poison Jab, Muddy Water, Sludge Wave, gonna be an amazing boost set. Like if we actually get this, it's gonna be insanely good. Like I'm looking forward to this one, definitely. Marini most likely gonna be also really decent in Little Cups, for example. I think it's gonna be really good there. Mudbray and Mudsdale, also cool Pokemon, but sadly only have Rock Smash and Mud Slap, so not really the most interesting. Body Slam is cool, but doesn't help you with Mud Slap really too much, so it's not gonna be the best. Mud Slap is just not the best move, but maybe you can still like it's not the worst move either like it does at least damage but yeah it's it's, it's not gonna be the craziest it's mostly kind of like uh hip powder or whatever moradul which is a funny name um and the evolution chinotic gonna be decent ish pokemon for pvp but with those fast moves and charge moves are not really giga drain though Giga Drain is a booth that we currently have in the game code, but it still doesn't have... I think it actually has stats, but it's still not revealed. Giga Drain would be, for example, a move that would be able to um, gain health back if we if we would implement this. Most likely Niantic just gonna give you a defense boost or something, because they don't have like health generation with this stuff, but it would be really cool if we could get this. Bone Sweet, Steamy... And uh, well, one of the fan favorites as well gonna be Serena with Magical Leaf. Magical Leaf, Energy Ball, Stomp. Like this would be a really cool Pokemon. I think they, like Stomp is not ideal, but it's a good bait move. You have Grass Knot, which is gonna be cool. Energy Ball, which is gonna be cool. And otherwise you have also Charm and Razor Leaf. I think this Pokemon gonna be a lot of fun. And I hope, I don't know if you can use actually Steamy. Let me see real quick. Um, let's go to be Pook real quick. Um, if you can get Steamy off to um, PP level. No, you can. Not even close. Okay. Um, but yeah, Serena would be pretty decent, I think. Let me see. Is Serena. Yeah, okay. It's, it's kind of squishy, but like for Ultra League, maybe. Um, Pissimian, the counterpart of the other ape we already have in here, has counters, superpower. Well, you don't really need superpower close combat. Yeah, maybe Brick Break Superpower or Superpower was coming, I don't actually know. But at least it would have countered this current time of the Game Master. Give the support, as you saw already, not the craziest, like, sadly, kind of screwed by the moves. Especially if the charge moves. I'm not actually, like, of course it would learn Shadow Claw, but sadly, like, it learns Waterfall. Waterfall is still fine, but the charge moves Aqua Jet RLA is, like, it's really not good. Um, I don't see a reason why you even want to double move it, to be honest. I think Aqua Jet might be even better than Aerial Ace because for Grass types you already have access out for whatever, like Fighting types you already res resist and do damage with your waterfall move. I think Aerial Ace is even way better. Sandy Cast and Pelosan, Mud Shot, Sand Tomb, Shadow Ball, Earth Power with a pretty decent um, CP spread as well, like IV spread here as well, like with these stats there. I mean, like this thing gonna be really cool. Actually, Sandy Guest, I, I kind of want to see, like, I'm just gonna put like another version of P Pokey real quick on the side so I can check some times if I don't know the. Sandy Guest actually comes close to PS2 to Great League level as well, which is cool. And what was the other name again? I forgot, Pelosan. 
I don't know the English name sometimes. Palosand, pretty okay stats, especially for Ultra League, most likely. I would think so. Yeah, you need an XL for Ultra League. This is gonna be a really cool core breaker. And Palosand itself, if you see the typing, completely hard walls Reggie Steel. Like this thing gonna be insanely good. Pikumuku already expected to have counter miracle. It doesn't learn anything else. If we can purify it someday, like the Wobbuffet, this thing gonna be a better Wobbuffet. This thing comes to 1,500 CP, and it's actually pretty pretty decent already. If you would go here and put in a Pikumuku, and you would add this, it has 2,400 um, stat product. It still looks kind of awkward-ish. But if you would give it like also return this thing would be amazing it definitely would be a better um wobber fed and you need like fully xl version of this pokemon type null type null should also get crush claw to be honest um uh, this is like kind of the signature move for this thing so i wonder if they're gonna give it but try attack is cool try attack but tackle takedown bite it's all completely horrible so with those quick moves this thing is like a pseudo legendary will not be really good it's actually legendary because like you need 20 for this like you see all the different things now i don't think there's a difference between them it has a signature move that would change the typing as well with the charge move so we're just gonna go through all this little valley um, we have mini or mini or whatever like this thing has also two forms i think one this is actually really defensive if we can get this form itself and it stays like this it's gonna be insanely good as well with acrobatics um the rollout and ancient power as a bait move i guess would be pretty pretty cool you could also use power gem this thing gonna be insanely good as well like i'm happy if we would get this because if you see like mini your stats the uh, core form this is the one if it's broke out you want the other one the media form has 2300 stats product there like if we can get this up pp that's thing gonna be insanely good and with warlord itself it's gonna be really really decent um yeah komala is actually one of my favorite pokemon roll out again which is cool boulders payback um play rub not the cool not the best but like still funny pokemon especially with the warlord Turtonator, something that I wish it would get in Cinderite, but it doesn't. So it's gonna be sadly kind of horrible, even though the like has good defense would be a cool Pokemon to have, to be honest. Togedemaru, pretty decent, to be honest. I actually didn't expect it to be that decent. Gonna be a cool Pokemon to use, but sadly very attack rated because of how it's performed. This is the fan favorite in general here. Mimikyu getting Shadow Claw Charm. Um, sh Shadow Sneak, Play Rush, Shadow Ball, insanely good, like you can run Charm and Shadow Claw, both of them are fine, Play Rush, Shadow Ball, both of them are fine, Shadow Sneak if you need a bait move, this would be a really cool Pokemon if it gets into the game like this, um, the Busted form is the same basically, um, Brackdish of course it gets uh, Psychic Fangs was kind of what you could expect, Gonna be a funny Pokemon as well, not gonna be good, but the moveset is pretty, pretty decent here to be honest. Like, Awkward Tail, Water Gun, plus um, Psychic Fang is gonna be insane, or even Confusion. I, I think Confusion Psychic Fang is kinda underrated at this point of time, because you can debuff your opponent's defense while doing massive damage with Confusion. This thing gonna be really cool as a sweeper, in my opinion. Like, I'm hype, hyped for this thing. Um, Fly on a move Pokemon again, gonna be interesting. I think they're gonna re remove this again, but like, it would learn it, I think. Um, Dragon Breath, Outrage, Dragon Pulse, not too good, sadly, with Rampa, but it's fine. This thing, Shadow Claw, Power Whip, Shadow Ball, this is gonna be maybe even a better Trevenant Dalmise, because Power Whip is just doing so much more damage than Seed Bomb. Of course, not a bait move anymore, but gonna be a cool alternative. Buzz Wall, they gave basically the perfect moveset at the current time. Again, can change. But um, forget Felstinger Power Punch. I don't think you really use it most of the time. Lunch Super Power looks amazing. Like, it's like perfect. Counter Lunch Super Power would be perfect on this Pokemon. For most, on the other hand, like, of course, it has Lunch Bug Bite and Close Combat. I guess it, it's I guess it's usable still. But if you see the um, stats of this thing, it's basically like Deoxys attack form. So pretty horrible for PvP. And going to the last one here, we have the Circuitry with... Thundershock, which is amazing. Discharge, which is amazing. Power Rip, which is amazing. Um, yeah, this thing gonna be insanely good. And you see, like, the stats compared to Feramosa, you have more HP, you have more defense, while having even more attack. This thing gonna be insane. Also, for raids, it's gonna be insane. Um, this can change, of course. This can, of course, change. 
um, this thing is set in stone as said before but there are a lot of pokemon in here that are really cool do you want me to do some in-depth stuff for some of the pokemon because some would be like insanely good like maybe i do like a top five of my pokemon from the move update here let me know in the comments if you want to see this maybe i do it tomorrow let me know depends on how you uh, found this video thanks for watching see you next video have a great rest of the day bye